All right, in this session, we're going to talk about how to format a program using a part stop, a center drill, and engaging your tail stock. All right, so once we bump up against the bump stop, we have 30 thousandths to face off. We're going to use a G72 can cycle. But once we face off, we have established the finished end of the part. Then we're going to come out with a center drill and we're going to drill deep enough for the center, the live center to safely engage with the part. So we're going to look at the format of the program to use both the center drill and then how to set the tailstock in the setting page. So it's now engaged and while it's engaged it keeps constant pressure. We're just going to make a one turning pass on the OD. It's all about the format of the program, engaging the tailstock and then sending it back home. So let's take a look at what steps we need to take to make all this work. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to touch off the part stop, which in this case is a three-quarter diameter pin. We're going to touch it off just like any other tool in the x-axis. And then we're going to move around and touch it off on the face or the z-axis. Once it hits the tool post, it automatically updates the tool data page. And let's take a look at the tool data page. When we touch off in X, we have to add a minus 0.750 to let the machine know where the center of that pin is. So we have to do that also for the center drill. We're going to touch off the center drill just like any other tool. First of all in Z, very simple, we position it again about an 8 inch away from the tool post, then feed it in, jogging it until it stops, then manually feed it back, and then come around, and again we're going to touch off on the OD, which is a quarter inch center drill. So once we touch in, we're going to have to add minus 0.250 on the tool page. So let's go ahead and go to the tool page and add that minus 0.250 to the X value of that touched off tool. So there's minus 15.003. Alright, so at the top of the program, we're going to start off calling up the three quarter inch pin, which is going to act as a part stop. So we call up the tool, we do not turn on the spindle, we're going to wrap it into position Z30 thousandths. Then we come all the way to X0 and we do an M00. And an M00, the machine stops, it stops everything. It allows you to open up the spindle, pull the stock, up against the pin, hold it there while closing the collet. Then the very next thing we do is when we hit cycle start, we do a rapid move W.1 which is a incremental address for the Z in the plus direction, just backing up that turret a hundred thousandths before it homes out and backs up a couple of inches and goes to optional stop. So that's the very first thing we're going to do. So let's see what that looks like on the machine. All right, so we call up tool number seven and we're going to wrap it to 30 thousandths in front of the part. So when we pull the part up against the stop, we have 30 thousandths to take off with our facing tool. So here we're using a G72 to do our facing operation. Again, we're using an 80 degree tool with an 032 tool nose radius. 
coming all the way to minus 0.064 on X to make sure we clean up all the way to the center. Then we come in with the center drill. We wrap it all the way to X0, feed in 220 thousandths, and we're ready for the center. All right, so with our part stop, we set the part 30 thousandths beyond Z0. So we have 30 thousandths to face off. So we are familiar with the G72 can cycle. So we're gonna call tool number eight. We're gonna wrap it to Z30 thousandths and then we'll go into the G72 can cycle where we take 20 thousandths per pass. So it's really gonna take one pass at 20 thousandths and then one pass at 10 thousandths. We have a 32 thousandths tool nose radius, so the G1X minus 0.064, just make sure that we clean up all the way to the center. All right, then we put the tool away and we make a tool change to tool number one, which is the center drill. And this is the first time we're using a center drill. So we call up the tool, we turn on the spindle, we wrap it to 100 thousandths in front of the face. We come all the way to X0, drill 220 thousandths deep. That's enough depth to engage the life center safely. And once we're our depth, we just wrap it out of the hole, turn the spindle off, and home out the X axis. Then the next thing we do is advance our tailstock. And let's take a look and see how that's done on the machine. So once we have faced and center drilled the part, we're going to have to manually advance the center and let it engage into that center drilled hole and we're going to have to find out the distance traveled and save that distance in the setting page so that the machine knows what that target is so let's go into the setting page and find where we enter those numbers so we go into the setting page and we scroll down a few pages and we're going to find out where to enter those values. All right, there they are. Tailstock retract distance. That's the distance from the previous setup. So the first thing we've got to do is look at where we sit right now in the B axis. That is the tailstock. So we're going to enter that number on the top line, 17.4. That's the total distance to retract all the way back home. Then we use that same number plus a couple of hundred thousands and that is the distance it's going to travel and it knows that it's got two hundred thousands before it alarms out if it doesn't see a part. So that's where we set the tailstock values. Alright so with the tailstock engaged we now turn the OD. Now this is where it's critical that we position our turret in the z-axis first. This is why I have been telling you to break up the z and the x-axis. If you do an x-z simultaneous move right now, there's a good chance that the tool will hit the tailstock. Okay, so always move your turret into place before coming into x. So while the tailstock is keeping constant pressure, engaging the life center, we're going to be turning the OD. Now, in this particular sample, we're just going to be skimming the OD. Normally, you would do a whole lot more turning, but it is strictly the format of the part stop, the center drilling, and engaging the life center that we are learning about in this lesson. So once we're done with the OD pass, we back out U.05. So it feeds out 50 thousandths off of the part, turns the spindle off, homes out the x-axis and just backs up. Now then I come to what they call an MO stop. So again, that's M00. The machine stops all motion, turns off all the coolant, all the spindles, okay? That gives you the option to first double check the size of your part before you retract the tailstock. So once you're satisfied with your part, you can click cycle start again it will read the M22, retract the part, and you're done. So let's take a look at these final two operations on the machine. So once we have set our tailstock, 
Now when we read an M21, the tailstock will automatically advance and hold constant pressure. Then the tool comes in, notice that it came in in Z first and then in X. It does the OD turning operation. In this case we're just doing one pass. It's just simulating the whole process. And then an M22 retracts the spindle. 